assalamu alaikum today we will start working uh, with the temperature sensor which is the second lecture of our iot project and today first of all we will discuss the hardware so first of all we have uh, the same esp32 board with us the first piece of our project the second is the temperature sensor there are two types of temperature sensor available in the market the one we are using in our project is ds322 which consists of four legs and these four legs of ds222 means there are four pins in this sensor so with these sensors we will use a board named as a breadboard the third component of our project and the fourth component of our project is the resistor i am pushing it here the value of this resistor is 10k and it is also purchased from the same market so this is the resistor of a value 10k and at the end we should have to purchase some of the wires you can see there are male connectors at this end of the wire and there are female connectors at this end of the wire there are four piece of wire you can say it as male to female connector so first of all i will tell you about the dst2 dst22 or dst22 temperature sensor so here is the pin configuration or here is the real dst22 sensor in front of us the first pin should be connected to the 3.3 volt of this board the second pin is the pin which is connected to the gpio pin means digital pin of this board the third pin of this dst2 dst22 will be unused pin and the fourth pin will be the ground pin and this ground will be available on the esp32 board so let me tell you that how we can make the fruitful the productive connections of this dst22 with the esp32 board by using a breadboard now we will see how we can make connections of dst22 temperature sensor it's very easy you can see the breadboard in front of you so i will use these first four squares of our breadboard means i will take this th these first four pins and insert it in the first four squares here so i am inserting it now these squares are connected from here to there in the same line so the first pin is always the 3.3 volt pin of the temperature sensor in having male connectors having pins on the both ends so i will connect this first pin here in the first square and the last end is connected here in front of the positive sign so this is also called as the positive rail of the breadboard the second pin should be connected in such a way that we will take some yellow connector and this connector should be connected here at the first pin and just this is empty part of our second pin so i will take the resistor and i will connect the resistor just below this yellow pin and the second end of the resistor should be connected 
एनी वेयर आफ्टर दिस मिडल लाइन सो आई हैव कनेक्टेड द सेकेंड लेग ऑफ द रजिस्टर हेयर एंड द फर्स्ट लेग इज कनेक्टेड जस्ट बिलो द येलो पेन हेयर सो द सेकेंड लाइन कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू कनेक्शन द फर्स्ट लाइन कंजिस्ट ऑफ ओनली वन कनेक्शन सो द थर्ड पेन और द थर्ड स्क्वायर इज अनयूज इट इज नॉट इट विल नॉट बी यूज द फोर्थ स्क्वायर इज द ग्राउंड पेन सो आफ्टर लिविंग द थर्ड पेन आई एम अगेन टेकिंग द मेल टू मेल कनेक्टर आई एम गोइंग टू द फोर्थ स्क्वायर एंड पुशिंग दिस ब्राउन कनेक्टर हेयर and the another end of the brown is connected to this negative line so here is the negative rail so there are two rails the one is positive and the third is negative now it's it's time to connect this esp32 with our pin connections of the breadboard now i will take male to female connector and i will put a red same color male to female connector just before this red pin just before this red pin and the another end should be connected to the esp32 3.3 volt if you see this esp32 clearly this the first pin at the very end is the 3v3 means the 3 volt pin so i will connect this red end to the 3 volt pin so 3v3 now i will take the brown color connector and put this connector just beside this brown pin and this should be connected to the ground on this board you can see this board after this 3v3 the second pin is the ground pin so i will take this and connect it in the ground so you can see so there are only two pins remaining one is the leg of this resistor so i will connect a black wire just beside thus below this resistor leg and this wire is connected to the 3.3 volt rail of the breadboard so the resistor is now connected now the only wire remaining is this yellow wire and this should be connected to the d4 pin on this board here you can see the d4 pin and i will connect it to the d4 pin so you can see all the connections are now tightened and completed on the board now we will move forward the next thing is to take this usb port and connect it in the esp32 now we will move towards our laptop and connect the other end of the usb port all the connections are now finalized and you can see them and tighten them for better results thank you now move towards the laptop screen if you have connected all the hardware successfully now it's time to write the code so after connecting the hardware you will have to write the piece of code so i will open arduino software here and in the arduino software we will make a new file and for the code i will guide where we can get the real code of this uh, temperature sensor reading so i will remove all the things and i will write github sayyad omar ahmed so i will press enter and we will click on the very first link of this github 
and in the github you will click on the repositories tab and in the repositories tab you will write plant plant so it will automatically search your repo required repository automatically you will click on it and in this repository you can find here is a name written as temperature sense you will click on this temperature sense and press the raw button and when you press the raw button here is the all the code you will press control a from your keyboard and right click on the code and do control p means copy and now you will came back to the screen and paste the complete code in the complete code the line written with light color above are just the comments but before running this code before saving this code you have to do a very important thing that is to import the temperature sensor library so we will go towards this sketch option and in the sketch option you will go to include library and we will click on manage libraries and in the manage libraries option it will open a dialog box in front of you so after waiting for 5 to 10 seconds you will click on the top of this bar and it will activate a cursor for you so we have to search for unified uh, this uh, temperature sensor library so i will write dht and after writing dht i will press enter so it will start showing is so i will write i will add dht sensor so i will write dht sensor it will automatically shows all the libraries available for dht sensors so i will click on this second one install this libraries and it will ask me that do you want to also install arda fruit unified sensor yes i need both of them so i will click on install all button if you don't have a option of arda fruit unified sensor library i recommend you to search unified sensor here in this bar and you will get the required library for installation so i will click on install all when i click on install all it will automatically install my required library and it will be a very good source of help for me hope that the libraries have been installed i will close it and in this code here we have included the installed library we have defined the pin this is the pin where we have connected our ESP32 with the DHT22 temperature sensor so here we have defined some of the pins and we will give uh, the title the print ln means it will print some string in the line the library will give us the temperature the humidity the fahrenheit temperature the humidity in degree cent the humidity in percentage so all the readings will be printed in the serial monitor so the raspberry pi is, uh, the, so the esp32 is connected to our computer let us confirm that the port is com5 okay and the board is also selected as do it esp32 dev kit so all the things are all right so we will save this code first i will give a name as practice t e m p 
save this code and I will click on the verify button and after clicking on the verify button I have to wait a little bit and this time you should have to know that when we click on the upload button we have to press the boot button on our ESP32 again just we have done just like we have done in the last tutorial because it helps the ESP32 to run the code on it successfully so the sketch is compiling after the completion of compiling step we will click on the upload button and the new thing is this when we want to see the readings of this temperature after uploading the code on controller there is a button here which is known as serial monitor this serial monitor will automatically show us all the readings of the temperature sensor on a blank screen so we can get to know about the readings in real time so this tutorial and this tempr temperature sensor integration is very easy you just have to know about how to make the good connections so let us wait for the sketch to be compiled after this completion step we will press on this upload button so the compiling will take a little bit of time if we have installed some libraries for running our DHT22 temperature sensor so the compiling is in process now you can see on this blue line here it is written the compiling is done now the important step is to click on the upload button here is the upload button and when we click on the upload button you have to remember that I have to press the boot button when seeing the three dots on the black screen so let me start clicking on the upload button first so I have clicked on the upload button and waiting for the three dots and I will press the boot button on my hardware and it will start showing the readings on a serial monitor so when there is a color change from white to red and there are three dots we have to press the boot button then that is the good practice so now I have pressed the boot button and it is started uploading now I am leaving it the uploading is done now let me go towards here and open the serial monitor to check the readings of the temperature sensor you can see we can f see the humidity the temperature and the heat index in degree centigrade and degree Fahrenheit for our temperature sensor 